What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and just a quick look ahead at Monday's selection of stuff that's going to be coming. So obviously just as a bit of a heads up for everybody that is new to the game or if you need a reminder lads as well, the epics and the boosters, the legend players, these guys that you see here. So as of as of like time of recording, these have got nine hours left in them. So these run now from Monday to Monday. So every time that these legends drop, it is on a Monday, no longer on a Thursday. It used to be a Thursday before where they had all the packs releasing. Now they release the player of the weeks on the Thursdays and then this content on the Mondays, right? So looking ahead, obviously the database does be updated. We're going to take a look ahead at that, but that is your last chance to get those players and the player of the weeks will be ongoing until the following Thursday. So you'll see there with the nine hours left, these have the rest from these are 45 days or whatever. The actual nominating contracts, that has 10 days left. I know people ask me about that, but you can see all them there very, very easily. But these ones are every Thursday and then the booster packs, which usually has the three legend players and then has a selection in there as well. So this is the previous one just gone. It was a fairly decent pack with the European club selection of attackers. But we can actually go over to eFootballDB here and check what is coming. So you can see all the packs here, the Bayern Munich pack. This one is known as the English League Selection Guardians, right? So you've got Botman, you've got Allison, you've got Zinchenko, Bassi, Walker, and Colwell, right? So obviously the players need to be updated on the Monday when it, when it actually updates, but that is just a look ahead. You also have your legends as well, which we'll get into in a second um, over here. So these are the profiles for the players with a look at their stats, a preview of the cards as well. So as you can see there, they are called the English League Selection Guardians on the 23rd of October 2023. So you can see here that Botman, he's got 35 levels. I don't think he's going to have that many levels when he launches. His standard card is usually a good parameter to go off of. So even if he has 30 levels, lads, this is going to be a beastly card. You know, even if you had 28 levels in this or 27 levels, you'll still be able to get, I know he's not that fast, but you'll be able to get all of those stats into the 90 zone very, very easily. He's also quite tall. You could have 88 physical contact. And then, of course, you could have 70 acceleration and 70 speed, as well as having a couple of more bits and pieces. I don't think he'll have more levels than that, than that to be honest with you, because he would be too overpowered. I mean, 14 levels into defending and a couple of more into physical contact is going to give you an absolute monster, um, but 35 levels. The levels are updated on the day that it actually comes out, right? We've got also, also got Allison. He never usually has this high levels. He's got 27 here, but straight away, you can see that his reflexes are good. His reach is good. Um, he's obviously tall enough. He's taller than 191 as well. There's been multiple versions of him. We've got Zinchenko. Obviously, he is down as a left back, but he can play a multitude of positions, including left mid or center mid, depending on the player skills that he has. These should be fairly accurate here. Fighting spirit, low lofted pass, and weighted pass with soul control is really, really nice as well. And he's got 30 levels, but that would probably be changed. This guy, people have been talking about him as well with Bassi. Usually the players that they have, right? Usually the players that they have um that are kind of like low rated they have a lot of levels but usually these players have around the 30 mark that's where they kind of like cut off of um and especially now as well that they're not making the players as overpowered as they used to be but these are very very good cards uh even just their base stats i mean you look at kyle walker there with a base stat of 86 speed and 83 stamina You've also got Chelsea's Colwell as well, who looks to be pretty decent. I mean, he's got 49 levels. If it was to stay like that, um, I mean, you would you would literally have a, a, an absolute monster. I mean, it would just be, yeah, it's not going to stay at that um, because he would just be too good. So I reckon he'll have probably about like 30 levels. Also, on top of that, we have the new legends that are being previewed. So we've got Dennis Irwin, um, who is down. He looks to be coming as well on Monday. Xabi Alonso as well and Shea Given. So these are going to be the new boosters. Obviously, they will have a booster on it as well. The same as the boosters has here, right? I'll just hide my thing here. Just give you a quick look. So they're the boosters that released before Drogba, Ribery, and Burkamp, and they look look to be the new ones that are coming out. So Given, Alonso, and Irwin. I mean, I'll be interested to see with these players, are they going to be the ultimate versions of them, or will they have other versions coming out? Because Dennis Irwin looks to be an absolute beast. I mean, you pop eight into loft, lofted pass there, you're going to have a, a passing masterclass from left back, you know, that's still able to defend. If you pop 10, even if he has 20, like I think he will have 28 levels or so. I mean, if you pop 10 into defending, eight into this and 10 into passing or eight into passing, you're going to have a very, very good, good core of a player there. And even into that, you're going to have a very solid left back. It's not meta. I think he'll have more levels than that. He could have like 35. Um, but the passing player like that is always going to be good. 
And then we also have Xabi Alonso. You can see there at, at his base core. I mean, 87 low pass, 90 lofted pass. Every stat that you could possibly want. And also every player skill that you could want as well. He's down as an anchorman, which is very, very nice. Um, he had a couple of cards before in eFootball 2022 that were orchestrators. So this guy is going to be more of a sit deep, kind of doesn't really need um, any acceleration or anything like that. And then Shea Gibbon. I think they've they've not really got Shea Gibbon right yet. I think he should be like Casillas, obviously not as high rated, but maybe in around that. If they're bringing out these legends, they should probably do them as much justice as they can. So that is it for me, lads. Let me know what you guys think and I will see you Monday. We will be streaming. We will be back. And if there are brilliant legends coming, like this this looks like it could be them let me know your thoughts are they good are they not are you going to spin are you going to skip and uh yeah we'll see you in a bit peace